And so we were pleased that we were able to negotiate an increase in the work to be done by Bahamian construction companies from $200 million to $400 million. That is 20% of the contract sum is gonna go to Bahamian contractors. of the $1.92 billion construction contract, 20% of that is going to go to Bahamian construction firms. No one has ever matched that or come near that. Not Kirsten on Paradise Island, not Alokai in Grand Bahama, nothing in the Bahamas has ever done that. Ever. Hmm? I made the point about the net benefit to the economy. Um, for Bahamian contractors to get $400 million worth of work yep. is a wonderful thing. The Bahamas government is building at the airport $400 million worth of construction. Hmm? And the contractor is a Canadian. 70% of the workforce is Bahamian. A number of Bahamian firms have contracts, but that's out of a $400 million deal. Where the government built the hotel before, the Cable Beach Hotel, or the U.S. departure at the airport, at no time in the Bahamas has anything come remotely near this a significant amount of the monies that therefore stay in the Bahamas. The work is going to be put to Bahamian contractors, and the result in, as I said, the largest award of contracts to Bahamian contractors on a single project, and will be given to large contractors, not just the Cavaliers, the Moscows, and the Tricos, medium-sized ones. Small contractors, and indeed, in some cases, individual contractors. Yeah. It's going to penetrate, penetrate deeply in the society. And include people in Nassau, in Abaco, in Long Island, in Luther, Grand Bahama, Cat Island. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and the whole, the whole, the whole, the whole country. Let's put this way. If money is being made in the Bahamas, an actress man can make so. <laughs> and he's gonna save it. <laughs> um, people have suggested that we should specify this increased work that is going to be put to the Hamian contractors, <laughs> subcontractors. And I'm going to give some examples of them. Um, and I'm going to make available for members the letter written to me by the China State Construction Company and Bahama after I came back from China. So they can read for themselves. They can determine themselves whether he came back empty-handed or full. No <laughs> Bits will cover the full spectrum of works, um, include masonry, drywall and finishes, carpentry, painting, tile and landscaping, electrical, mechanical, plumbing, finished trades, and so on. Specifically, the so-called core project packages, not previously contemplated by Barmar as principal contractor, will now be available to Bahamian contractors bidden on various works. On the core project, they'll be bidden on the demolition of existing hotel, existing buildings, the underground utilities, the earth works, the park and lots, the lighting, as examples, the convention center, the structure, the masonry, the mechanical electrical, the drywall, the tiling, the finishes, as examples, the higher timeshare projects, 
the villas, the structure, the masonry, the mechanical, the electrical, the drywall finishes. There are 20, there are going to be 24 freestanding buildings, buildings within the core project, including restaurants, retail shops, bars and pool restrooms, for example. They will all be bid to behaving subcontractors and contractors, including their structural, their masonry, the full interior fit out, mechanical, etc. The landscape and irrigation scope, substantial, will be bid to Bahamian contractors. The site concrete pavers, specialty walks, and pool decks will all be bid to Bahamian contractors. Within the towers themselves, within the towers themselves, there are numerous restaurants and retail shops that will be bid to Bahamian general contractors to fit out, including the mechanical, electrical, etc. There's going to be increased employment for Bahamians, and there's going to be transfer of skills to Bahamians. As a result of this substantial increase in the amount of work that's been awarded to Bahamian contractors. I don't know what the number is going to be, to be quite frank. I can only tell you what they tell me. I know this, that in 2009, the Department of Statistics recorded that there were just over 5,000 unemployed persons in the construction industry in the Bahamas. That's what I know. And there were 17,000 employed, and there were some 5,000 unemployed. This project will provide work for every unemployed construction worker in this country.